Did you know that J. Robert Oppenheimer, the man who led the creation of the atomic bomb, famously quoted the Bhagavad Gita when he saw the first nuclear explosion? He uttered, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Chilling, right? It's a moment that changed the course of human history forever. And today, we're diving deep into the legacy of one of the most powerful weapons ever created. Oppenheimer's journey as a brilliant physicist took a sharp turn during World War II when he was chosen to lead the Manhattan Project, the top secret government mission to develop the world's first nuclear weapons. The stakes were high. The United States was racing against time, fearing that the Axis powers were close to developing their own atomic bomb. In 1945, after years of intense research and experimentation, the first successful test, codenamed Trinity, was conducted in the deserts of New Mexico. The result? A mushroom cloud that symbolized a new age of warfare and scientific power. But here's where things get controversial. While the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki effectively ended World War II, they also unleashed unimaginable destruction. Over 200,000 people lost their lives, either instantly or from the long-term effects of radiation. The cities were reduced to rubble, and the horrors of nuclear warfare were laid bare for the world to see. This raised a critical ethical question. Was the development of the atomic bomb a necessary evil to end the war? Or was it an act of moral recklessness? Oppenheimer himself was deeply conflicted. While he had achieved his scientific mission, the devastating consequences weighed heavily on him. He later said that the scientists involved had known sin, highlighting the profound moral dilemma he faced. The atomic bomb's creation has since become a symbol of the ethical challenges that scientists encounter when their discoveries can be used for both creation and destruction. But the story doesn't end in 1945. The atomic bomb's impact extends far beyond World War II. It shaped global politics during the Cold War, sparking a nuclear arms race between the United States and the Soviet Union. Even today, the existence of nuclear weapons acts as both a deterrent and a constant threat to global security. Countries around the world continue to maintain and develop their nuclear arsenals, raising the question, could we ever undo what Oppenheimer and his team set into motion? So, what do you think? Is nuclear technology an essential part of modern defense? Or is it time to rethink our reliance on these devastating weapons? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more thought-provoking content.